when I was a child, this is where the buses used to stand and this is where we used to take buses from to uh, wherever in the land. And uh, now uh, what happens is that the drug addicts are like coming in groups. They sit there and they just use drugs just right like this in the open, but heavy drugs. And uh, it's like groups. They're sitting in groups and they do that. The police uh, recently started to really go strong about it. But uh, even during the mornings and the days, they're coming in groups. We, we see over there one single person sitting. Uh, over there you see a group, uh, a small group. Over there you see a group. They're all dra into drugs. They're all waiting for the drug dealer. They're all, you know, giving each other. Uh, on the other side, over there is where the the street for the women in prostitution, all the doors that you see there, the yellows yeah. and this. These are doors that either they're open or they're closed or they're working or they're not. But behind the doors, a lot of things are happening. Also the drugs and stuff. Here you saw a woman coming out. Um, so you never know what is going on behind the doors. So what we do in this outreach is just walk and we pray, God, give us divine appointments, you know, to meet the right woman, to meet the right person to share and talk with. And every time we choose to take our feet out, God brings divine appointments, to bring a woman we can share with her about the Lord, a woman we can pray for her, uh, somebody we can talk about pregnancy. You see a lot of women in prostitution also working uh, in prostitution and they're pregnant and their belly is like this and they continue to uh, be in prostitution until the end, until a, m a moment before they have to give birth. So God is, is faithful. We just, you know, obedient to Him. We know we are called to come here to this area. This is the outcast of society. And our heart is to reach out to these people. This is, if Yeshua would come to this, to this earth right now, He would come here. This is where he would reach out. This is where he would heal. This is where he would restore and redeem people from their uh, uh, terrible situations in their lives. And so we want to see it happening. We've seen women coming to the Lord here in this area. We've seen babies being saved from abortion here in this area. God is faithful. He just need the workers, the people that want to be obedient and say, yes, we'll go. This is the street where all the women, the women that are in prostitution and drug addict would be in this. And all these doors are doors of the brutals of these women. I want to show you something, this corridor, okay? This is where I started. The first time I went to the woman, I went inside and I met her in the last door over there. And I would knock at the door and call her and wake her up because she was so stoned from the drug to take her to the hospital. Remember the, the testimony I gave you in the beginning, how uh, this ministry started. So this is how I would go, walk by myself, not have any experience with this world and step uh, into that uh, area over there. It was full of uh, needles and things on the floor, very dirty, very, um, uh, it wasn't easy, but God was with us all the time. So uh, let's continue. What way uh, can Shola support you? What's the best way to... Okay, I, I, you saw uh, the case with Miriam. We always buy them food. We always uh, want to give them clothes and whatever practical needs at the moment. Sometimes they need medicines. Sometimes they need uh, vitamins. Sometimes later on I... I um, continue to meet with them and help them with other things but anyway i want to show you a new thing in this vision that started we want to we realize that many of them need treatment food treatment and pedicure manicure so we decided we pray that god will enable us to minister to them uh, and and bless them with that and as we do that we can talk with them and learn about their life and see how we can help them and this house is the house where we're going to start that um, vision to come about and to have one day of uh, free treatment for the women. And so we're going to go outreach, bring them here and uh, treat them. So our needs are like for the women in prostitution starts 
from buying them food when they need and we see them so hungry and clothing. We go to the stores here and buy them immediately clothes. We buy them medicines, uh, vitamins, and here we, we will need a lot of things for the pedicure, manicure, um, whatever we need for this ministry. Basically, I mean, whatever we do here is, is that we want to see these women coming out of this life, out of prostitution, out of addiction, and start a new life in the Lord. This is our hope. We've seen women uh, get saved in this area, and we hopefully and praying that we will see many, many more women coming out of this terrible area. We zijn uh, nu aan het einde van het bezoek aan uh, Anat. Uh, we hebben gezien de, de grote nood die hier is onder de prostituees, waar zij enige verlichting kan brengen door er te zijn, door ze mensen aan te bieden om ze te helpen. En uh, wij willen ze vanuit Shores ook helpen. En speciaal hier voor dit project van uh, het huis, wat ze kunnen gebruiken iedere week, in te richten met uh, apparatuur nodig voor pedicure en manicure. Een gift geven van 1000 euro. We will thank you and give you 1000 euro for the project here that you can buy the things you need to start next week. Thank you so thank very you very much. much and God bless you.